hello friends welcome to UGC net online pre coaching already i have discussed in a last series i have completed june 2007 today i'll discuss uh, i'll start new series uh, december 2007 uh, before that i'll i will tell something about next month before february 10th i will release my book this is a new book almost it is covered 2014 to 2004 to 2014 all video lecture series and uh, uh, this covers entire question paper with solution complete um, solution with reason so uh, please inform your friends and uh, um, you know first 100 members will get a free uh, cd uh, please uh, to book you can register just you drop your mail id to my mail id uh, we'll go we'll move for uh, june sorry december 2007 question number 1 a box contains six red balls and four green balls four balls are selected at ra- random from one box what is the probability that two of the selected balls are red and two are greens means what a box contains six red balls and four green balls means total 10 balls in that four balls are selected at random of the box out of 10 they are selecting four balls what is the probability that two of the selected balls are red and two are green means out of six red balls four green balls they are selecting four balls but find the probability that selected four balls first two balls are belongs to red two balls are belongs to green for this just simple calculation 6c2 means what there are six red balls you need to find a, uh, you need to choose two balls from six balls red balls and for out of four balls you need to select two balls green balls so total is 10 balls you need to select four balls this is a simple formula now you just simplify this one 6 into 2 means 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 1 similarly 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 uh, so total divided by 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 because it is a 4 4 3 2 1 so finally we will get 3 by 7 on uh, uh, total probability to get a two red balls and two green balls i hope it's very simple question if you know the basic probability theory okay now we'll move to the question number 2 the number of edges in the complete graph with n vertices is equal to this is same question asked in question number 3 june 2006 uh, the complete graph means already i have explained in detail in that video uh, but anyhow one second i will discuss here complete graph is a, a simple undirected graph in which every pair of distinct vertices is connected by unique edge means what every pair of vertices has a uh, connected with the Yeah, yeah other pairs of all vertices in the graph means what all vertices has a equal degree uh, okay a complete graph diagram is a directed graph it may be directed graph also in which every pair of distinct vertices is connected by pair of unique edges okay means what one in each direction i hope in this diagram uh, stated this vertex is connected with single edge with all other vertices remaining vertices in the graph so every vertex is connected with all other remaining vertices in the graph so option is n into uh, n minus 1 by 2 means total number of edges if you take it any uh, for example you take it three vertex four vertex you can take it so total number of vertices in this uh, graph uh, three Six seven vertices into six seven into six and forty uh, two uh, divided by two uh, means twenty two vertices. Uh, sorry, twenty one vertices in the graph. This this is also called as hand shaking lemma. Okay, means what? Every vertex has a both the direction forward and backward direction. This is called complete graph. Okay, I hope it's clear. N into n minus one uh, one upon two. number of edges in the graph if it is a complete graph okay now we'll move to the question number 3 a context free grammar is type 0 type 1 type 2 type 
it's very important question uh, uh, related to theory of computation uh, i hope uh, i will give a simple table just you remember this one in this uh, question they have asked to contest pre grammar it may be re- uh, recursive enumerable or regular language or it may be context sensitive it may ask any type of a question so here type 0 is recursive enumerable language this type of language is re- reads only turing machine uh, there is no restriction production it may be left side and right side there is no restrictions so this is type 0 grammar type 1 grammar context sensitive grammar this is linear bounded uh, non deterministic turing machine reads only type type 1 grammars so uh, this is type 2 is a context free grammar it it reads non de- non deterministic pushton automata this is related to pushton automata and regular grammar reads to finite automata okay uh, means now come to the question a context free grammar is this is type 2 grammar it's a very simple question straight forward if you know the uh, this table i hope uh, is clear your doubts if they ask any type of question it may be next time time type 2 grammar read switch type of the machine may be they will ask uh, turing machine uh, non deterministic turing machine or non deterministic put on automata or finite automata uh, it may be so you just remember this one option c is right answer next let e uh, b raised to m and uh, tends to b raised to n is a group code the minimum distance of e is equal to the maximum weight of a non zero code word the minimum weight of the non zero code word or m or n this is given i hope this is a standard theorem um, uh, this is op- the minimum distance of the encoding function e b raised to m and b raised to n is the minimum of the distance between all distinct pairs of code words that is minimum of delta of e x comma e y in in these two any one which is the minimum that you will select so option b is right answer for this fourth question okay now we'll go for question number 5 consider more machine m whose diagraph is uh, this is s yes, is the initial state s1 s2 this is input symbols are a and b then l uh, this is a language accepted by the machine m is set of all strings having two or more b's three or more b's two or more a's three or more a's here a it is a self loop it may generate n number of a's we don't know uh, the uh, minimum string but it, it not necessarily generate n numbers it, it may not generate any number of a's so um, so uh, to reach s not to s1 it's at least it should read b one time to reach s1 to s2 at least it should read one time b so necessary to reach s not to s2 is two b's after reaching s2 it may reads a or b n number of times so uh, for this conclusion two or more b's means what option a is the right answer s2 being a acceptor it will be accept minimum bb or a star b a star b a plus b whole star it may take any of the value a or b so this is actually a regular expression so minimum string is bb so two or more b's it can read minimum okay so i hope it's clear if you have any query just you mail me uh, this is question number 6 a well formed formula that is equivalent to the l form formula of x tends to y is this is just for uh, some uh, some assumption suppose x is equal to 0 or 1 it take x any value and y is equal to 0 then x greater than or equal to 0 definitely it it may be a uh, it may be 0 or 1 it is greater than 1 y now complement of y is 1 because initial y is 0 now it is complement is 1 definitely complement of y is greater than or equal to x so uh, uh, option in induction it is true for all the cases it is for single case it is true for all remaining cases so uh, uh, this option b is the right answer negation of y implies negation of x x implies y is or else it may be impl- uh, you may consider as equal or greater than okay so option b is the right answer 
now we'll go for question number 7 simplified form of a boolean expression xy plus negation of x z plus y z is the given options uh, xy plus negation of uh, x z they have given but you take this uh, given expression and try to simplify whatever you will get answer we'll see it okay here negation of uh, means complement of x is x now the given construct the k map now this is the k map now given is x y this is x this is y this is y so x y is 1 this is 1 x y and negation of x z this is negation of x and z where is your z this is z negation of x and z this is this value is negation of uh, x and z and y z here is your y z y is here y z this is y z value so you don't have the x value so take it y z value now uh, make it group this is in this case and this is one more group in this x is constant here y is varying x and y because z is changes 0 and 1 so don't consider z so here equation generates x y because y is 1 x is 1 here 0 x dash means negation of x this is z is not changing negation of z and uh, sorry negation of x z so option x y plus negation of x z so you may using you may simplify this one using uh, set of formulas just here there is no z option uh, value just introduce z here here there is no y introduce y here there is no x introduce x and go on simplify uh, you may get a um, final answer uh, both are same so better option is this is the k map is the right way to solve It means easy way to solve just go through it so option a is the right answer x y plus negation of x z so for like this questions first you solve it then con- come to the conclusion first uh, don't uh, see the options first only It means if you saw the answers you, uh, while solving you may stick to the particular answer uh, in that time it may generates a uh, wrong output so uh, don't see, look at the options select the given and try to solve it using any of the which one you are comfortable using k map or using theorems and which one is you feel solid then um, check the options okay so option a is a right answer now we'll go for question number 8 in order to build a mod 18 counter the minimum number of flip flops needed is equal to for this i hope you need you need to know for one jk flip flop four bit count means what four mod definitely if it is 18 counter 4 into 4 means 16 counters is uh, covers but you need one more count counter uh, so um, minimum counter is 5 so option uh, c is right answer i hope you got one jk flip flop four bit count so uh, 4 into 4 four uh, flip flops means 16 it is covers but 2 is remains that 2 is covers for one more flip flop so hence we require five flip flops okay you uh, this is the given i hope uh, it's clear now we'll go for question number 9 the dual of the switching function is f is equal to x plus yz is given by actually i hope you have studied in duality dual theorem uh, in uh, discrete mathematics also in boolean algebra it, it is used in both A simple thing is in duality and dual function just change multiplication to addition addition uh, addition to multiplication if it is plus multi uh, means multiplication means dot if it is dot change it to plus this is simple theorem a simple way to remember any theorem or identity in switching algebra remains true or false zero or ones are swapped also dot and plus operator are swapped this is the main reason so here given x plus something here x into something because there is no here x plus it is same thing leave it this is not negation is not the answer this is also not the answer so here x plus change it to x into here y 
into z y plus z so simple option is b is right answer this is the duality simple way okay it's so theoretically you try to know the complete but uh, in uh, like uh, all our india level exams you need some smart work instead of hard work but you should be uh, all smart worker should be a hard worker according to me so uh, use some smart way of thinking while answering okay now we'll go for question number 10 among its the logic families dtl l ttl ecl and cmos the family with the least power distribution this is a common question in almost all question papers uh, just look at uh, in uh, uh, same june 2005 2006 2007 8 9 almost all this is a compulsory question so uh, please remember this table i i, I told many time uh, for all the characteristic of the uh, logic families i have given here just list out and try to know the uh, all the answers okay so for this question low power distribution now here where it is low power related to this is low power okay i hope you try to remember this one you'll get an answer thank you for watching uh, please inform your friends and uh, share subscribe the channel thank you one and all